now the spectrum issue is such that there is fewer than 10% of American homes get free or rely on free over-the-air broadcast. Uh, you know, over 80% have satellite, cable, internet, fiber, you name it, some combination. And they have all sorts of choices. So you have this basically free over-the-air service, which Spectrum, which is a national asset the broadcasters have never paid for. And it's barely being used. And it's huge water, think of it as waterfront property. It's huge and it's underused. And broadcasters uh, are, you know, they don't want to give it up. And, and politically, it's very difficult for government to, to do that. So the concept came along in a bipartisan way that there should be what's called incentive, um, voluntary incentive auctions. So it's voluntary. No broadcaster has to give up their spectrum, even though it's renewed every several years. And um, it'll be bid off to most likely people who want to provide wireless broadband. Um, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, EchoStar, others will, will bid for it. And that'll produce a lot. Of, we estimate about $31 billion in revenue. The, the deficit, I'm, I'm sorry, the Super 12 committee, it's uh, supported by both sides at this point. If there is any type of deal, it will be in there. 